Yes, YouTube, how you doing? We are back after a little bit of January illness Aww. and visits to the hospital and whatnot, but I'm okay, I'm still here. <laughs> Just Today we're going to be looking at a guitar player, an Italian guitarist called Matteo Mancuso. Now, I have looked at this guy before and my jaw has dropped like several like inches downwards when I've seen this guy playing. A lot of you guys have probably seen him already. He's doing a tribute to Jeff Beck on this video, who I love. I think he's phenomenal. He's very characteristic. He sticks out a mile. You can tell Jeff Beck's guitar playing a mile off on any of the records that he's played on. I haven't heard this one. I thought it'd be a good one to do a reaction on. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'll do my little introduction video in a second. If you guys haven't joined the Patreon yet, it was Burns Night in January. I and Burns Night, if you guys don't know, it's a night we celebrate in Scotland, which now is kind of like a celebration of Scottish traditions from Haggis to obviously Robert Burns and his poetry and a whole bunch of other things. So I did a gig in January with one of my friends, Kath, she's a fiddle player, and we played a Burns Night in England, in Oldham, near Oldham, in a farm near Oldham which was pretty cool. So what I'm going to do over the next couple of days is post that video. I put a modern slant on my Burns Night when I do it, so it's all kind of more modern Scottish songs. We've got Biffy Clyro in there, Deacon Blue, Wet Wet Wet, Proclaimers, Pal on the Teeny, Big Country, Delamitri, Water Boys, Primal Scream, Travis, Louis Capaldi, the list goes on. So. It's myself and guitar, Kath on the fiddle, and we're doing our own take on those songs. So that's over on Patreon, the link's down here for Patreon. So yes, it's good to see you guys again, and let's get stuck straight into Matteo Mancuso. But after we do the little guitar introduction, let me get ready. Don't you... Forget about me Subscribe to Rockstar Dad Don't you Forget about me Stop it there for a second. Oh my goodness. Now, if you know anything about this guy, you will know that guitarists like Steve Vai, Joe Bonamassa, Aldi Miola, all very well-known guitar players have been speaking about this guy and going crazy about this dude. Steve Vai said it's a new level of guitar playing. Joe Bonamassa said he's never seen anything like it. And poor old Aldi Miola said it's going to take him two or three lifetimes to catch up with this guy, with his improvisational skills. Now, as you can see when he's playing, he's not using a pick, not using one of these, right? He's using his fingers. If you read a little bit about the fella, and he talks a lot about his technique, and a lot of people straight away say, well, you've copied classical technique, you've taken a little bit of flamenco technique, and he says, yeah, I can see the similarities there. Obviously, he's using his fingers, and you need long fingernails for that, which I can't do. 
I can't do the fingernails thing. It just annoys the hell out of me. So I've never been able to grow my fingernails. When I play, I use a pick and my fingers... We call it hybrid picking. So sometimes I tuck the pick in and I just use my fingers when I'm accompanying myself on an acoustic. If I'm using electric, most of the time it's a pick. He thinks his finger style is more similar to bass playing technique. So how bass players play. Now you can kind of see that in how he's kind of developed his playing. He's keeping his fingers down for a lot of it. But the three C's, as I call it, coordination, control and confidence is just out of this world right his technical skills as you can see are phenomenal harmonic application so he knows exactly what's going on there's something called note targeting for guitarists a few of you guys will know what it is but note targeting basically if you've got something like a 12 bar blues A lot of people jamming over that when you get started, you'll jam over just a blues scale, right? And you, you'll just jam through the chord changes. You won't really pay attention to the chord changes. But note targeting is where you're aware of the chord underneath and the harmonic changes that are going on mm -hmm. so that you can play some of the notes from the chord. So it gives, it, it, it brings a little bit more familiarity in there. So for example, if I'm playing the first chord, E, I would outline those notes in that chord. I would outline the notes. So... Now what I could do when it goes to E, when it goes to A, sorry, I could outline some of the notes that are in, that are in the A chord. G from the A7 chord back up to the G sharp from the E. Now that's called note targeting when you're aware of the chord changes underneath, like I said, so you can play some of no those notes in the chord, so it brings harmonic familiarity to it, you know, it kind of makes sense when you're playing that stuff. Now this guy knows exactly what he's doing and his technique is out of this world, it's just so expressive, right? Yes, he's Italian born, I think he's round about 26, 26, 27. He's studied jazz, so he does know what he's on about, he said he's studied jazz at a conservatory, I think, in, in Italy somewhere. He obviously knows what he's doing here, but as you can see, it's not just technical application, it's emotional as well. He's got a real nice feel for the guitar. His vibrato is very expressive and his oral interaction with the chords is, is on fire, his improvisation skills. So let's carry on, let's have a little look and see what else is going on in here. Yeah!
right. So, yes, I think it, it says it all. That so I'm glad I've watched that solo now. If you watch his playing closely, yes, he's got this bass player's fingers, right, which are down, but he also then does the guitar kind of technique, which is a little bit more finger style with the thumb. He's using the thumb and plucking upwards as well. So he's got his own thing on the go here. Now, what's just popped up is a video that I haven't seen yet with Tommy Emmanuel and Mr. Mancuso as well, which I'm definitely going to do a video on that afterwards. Do I think this guy is the new guitar god, like they called Eric Clapton god in the 70s, 60s, 70s? Yes, this guy is absolutely phenomenal, and he's got a solo album out at the moment, I do believe, which I am going to check out, because sometimes I like guitar solo albums, and sometimes they go on a bit. So it'll be interesting to see what the album is like. I'll let you guys know what I think in the next video. I'll go and give it a listen to and do a little reaction to that on the next video because I love Tommy Emmanuel. I had a chance to go for a meal with Tommy Emmanuel a couple of years ago with a fiddle player friend of mine and I turned it down. I had a gig on and I wished I'd uh, dumped the gig. I couldn't get out the gig. I don't like dumping gigs. Um, it's not nice if you've got a gig dumped on you, so I don't like doing that. Um, but I missed the chance and Tommy Emmanuel for me is one of the best guitar players on our planet just character wise he puts everything into it and he looks like a real nice bloke as well just comes across really really big character on the stage all the time so yes guys I hope you've enjoyed this video I'm going to check out some more guitar players over the next few days I've got lots of requests I've missed a week so I've got lots of requests I know a week's a long time on YouTube some people have been checking up on me saying are you okay are you all right yes I am fine I'm not dead not yet <laughs> we watched Gladiator during the week with my wee boy he's been doing Romans at school so he's been doing a bit about gladiators so we watched it and that's his catchphrase not yet no so yes i'm still here check out the patreon check out the other videos guys i'll see you soon take it easy yeah, baby. Baby.